Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to swap two numbers by using third variable in Java. So let's get started. So first we will be getting the both the numbers as an input from the user. So for that we will be using a scanner class. Alright, so it's going to be capital S scanner. I will just name it as input equal to new scanner and I will just have system dot in inside it and for using scanner we have to import java dot util dot scanner so it's going to be import java dot util dot scanner all right so that's good so now we will get the number so let me have a print statement as well so it's system dot out dot print i'll just type enter number one and after that, I will be getting the number one from the user. So it's going to be int number one equal to input dot. We'll be having the next int. Just enter it. And I will just again copy both of these lines as we will be just doing the exact same thing for the second number as well. So it's going to be number two over here. I will just add a semicolon. Yeah. And I will name it as number two over here as well. So now we are done. So now we need to just have our third variable. So let me just have int temp as my third variable. So now let's basically just swap the numbers. All right. Just come to the next line. It's going to be temp equal to number one. And our number one will be equal to number two. And the last line, our number two will be equal to temp. I will just run this program and show you later. I will be explaining you with the help of a demo. All right. So after doing all this stuff, let's just basically print both the numbers. So I'll just copy this, paste it. So I'll just change this to number one and I will just put plus number one over here. And let me just now copy this as well and paste it. I will go with number two for this. Yeah, I hope this is fine, well and good. So now let me just save and run it. After that, I will be explaining you with the demo how it works. So for compiling it, it's Java C and I'm not getting any errors. Now we just show the output. So we need to enter the first number. Let me go with 22 and second number, let it be 33. So here you can see I'm getting number one as 33 and number two as 22. Now let me explain you how this basically works. All right. So I think most of you will be clear till this part. All right. So our basically our number one was 22 and number two was 33 till this point all right so what's happening here is that our temp all right so temp is unassigned it does not have any value in it so we are assigning 22 to temp at first okay the, the reason we are assigning number one to temp because the next line we will be assigning number two's value to number one so the original value of number one is getting lost in that case so that's the reason like a precaution we are saving number one's value in temp otherwise our number one value will be completely lost and we can't swap so that's the main part and after that what we are doing is we are assigning number two's value to number one so our number one will be equal to 33 after this line so its original value 22 has been now overwritten by 33 of number two and in this line what will be happening is that our number two value will be replaced by number one's value which is in temp so our temp is 22 and that value will be now assigned to number 2. So our number 2 will be 22 and its original value will 33 will be replaced by 22 and that's getting lost and it will just come over here. So number 1 will be 33 and number 2 will be 22. So this is like a simplest program I guess and I hope you have found this video useful. Mine is a programming channel. I've done many videos in Java, C, C++, Node.js, React.js, SQL queries as well as 3D animation using Blender. So do check other videos of my channel. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.